listen to a lot of high school musical growing up. Very but true. probably like the first like real not real music, because high school musical is real music, in case you're wondering, but uh Is that kind of for life? Is that kind of <laughs> is why I am the man I am today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no one's ever said that in this <laughs> kitchen ever. <laughs> I'll be the first. <laughs> This video is brought to you by LastPass. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me and my guests. And my guests today are a pair of brothers that I met at Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal Savar. I believe it's Soul Belly Barbecue was the first one. And they have their own YouTube channel where they play covers, so definitely check that out. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, their marketing includes a kiss from grandma if you show up. <laughs> Please welcome to the channel, Liam and Dylan. Say hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Would you like your uh, room oh, six? Oh, yeah. I'll your, I'll would you like your room back. six? This is water. Anybody watching? Yeah. They're, they're under 21. This is all water, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, gentlemen. We're doing an empty Cheers. toast. Cheers. Toast yes. with water is an Cheers. empty toast, but whatever. <laughs> Come on. So, first off, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having yes. us. Second of all, thank you for watching. If you don't know who Liam and Dylan are, thank you, especially for watching. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, it's going to be a real short. Tell them who you, introduce yourselves and tell them who you are and what you do in the band. Yeah. I'm Liam. I, I'm one half. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess who Dylan is. <laughs> I am Dylan, and I'm the other half. So yeah. both of them play guitar and sing, and they're an acoustic duo thing. And we were talking off camera how you know their sound really would benefit from, I think, a band. It, I can hear it in my head. Um, stick around, by the way, because we're going to see a couple of songs upstairs in room six from them. I'm excited because I've only ever heard you guys at showcases, like, yeah. like at a show, and I can hear there's intricacies in the guitar work you're doing because uh, they're, they bounce stuff off each other, and there's um, you're both doing like different versions of the chords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can hear that, but you, it gets lost at a live mm -hmm. show a lot of times. Uh -huh. um, so I'm excited. Stick around. With that, you OG Room Sixers, you know what's coming. I'm going to ask my usual first question. Um, how long have you been brothers all your life? Uh, well, I, <laughs> I've known him all his life, but yeah. he hasn't known me. I know I have known him all my life, but he's known me all his That's life. That's not really the first question. But... <laughs> <laughs> I've been your age. You ain't never been my age. So you have that whole uh, my younger brother's taller than me thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm cuter, so it's Wow. No, that's the big <laughs> So really the first question is, Let's talk musical influences. Okay. And by that I mean, what is that earliest musical influence? You were, what is that moment you remember saying, I want to do that? And I have a feeling, um, because you're brothers and you write music together, it's probably going to be the same sort of thing. Then again, maybe yeah, not. Definitely could be. Well, music has always been around in our house. Like, yeah. the Wiggles. <laughs> There's a lot of Wiggles going on. You said music. Music. <laughs> is, that is music, Josh. Um, listen to a lot of High School Musical growing up. Very but probably like the first, like, real, not real music, because High School Musical is real music, in case you're wondering, but, uh... Is that kind of friend for life? Is that kind of fun is why I am the man I am today. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> no one's ever said that in this Seriously. kitchen, ever. <laughs> I'll be the first. No, uh, probably the Beatles. Yeah. I'll probably say the Beatles. I can definitely hear Beatles. There's also, there's a little bit of folk in there, too. Where does the folk come from? Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's a very good question. Like, when, when you were growing up, did you listen to a lot of, like, Woody Guthrie or, or James, um... I've seen fire and I've seen... Red oh, James, James Taylor. Taylor. Thank you, James Taylor. Um, no, not really. But the fact you both knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think more recently, as I've been, like, getting into my own music taste, I listen to a lot of alternative, like, folk pop. I've been into that. Rubber Soul is my favorite Beatles album, so it's a little, yeah. little folky in there. A lot of folk. There. A lot of folk. Yeah. But, the, but do you remember a moment where you were like, I want to do that? Or it was just kind um, of, you grew into it, as you said? I don't know. I've always been interested, like, in guitars when I was little. So I always had, like, plastic guitars yeah. around the house. We played concerts for our family. So it's just kind of like the natural progression of things to do. I guess, yeah. Right on. Yeah. So you didn't have that whole moment of, I could do that. Why not? No, it was more like, like I've always been like, so I've been doing around the house. Right. Might as well. Hey, why don't we do this in front of people that aren't our family? Yeah, it's kind of like that, yeah. Right on. Yeah. How long have you been performing as Liam and Dylan? Since, Since June, June, July. July. I thought it was fairly new. June. Yeah, it was like July. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I got to see you like one of the first. Yeah, you saw yeah. us on our first showcase. So that's yeah. Like, yeah. Awesome. Showcase. I think I mentioned that in my review of that showcase. I think yeah, I, I think you did. I think Hal had said something or you had said something. Um, and that's so cool. One of the things I love about the, the showcase that 
uh, House of Our Runs that I uh, am fortunate enough to live stream and do reviews of is you get to see a lot of acts that are like fresh faced. Yeah. You know, it's like this is my first ever or this, this like, like, but even also uh, experienced old hands at it like Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Spencer mm. Hinton, who is the front person for uh, Kook and also plays in the band Elevated mm-hmm. Underground, an amazing songwriter. Great, great talent. Mm-hmm. Said, I've ever performed these in front of people and proceeded to play music that was like nothing yeah, like I've ever heard from so them. True. And and it, it was almost experimental. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, good for you. <laughs> because there are people who are regulars at these things, it's an open mic or whatever, and they just keep playing the same three songs and try to build on those three yeah. songs. And you're like, you know, it's okay to push yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That being said, I can't remember the last time I wrote an original song. I'm, <laughs> I'm busy, sue me. So, from there, uh, we, I asked how long you've been doing it. I guess not a lot of shows under your belt, really. Um, a little bit. I mean... Well, okay, let me back up. It is obvious that you didn't just decide to start <laughs> making music together in June. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So, what came before that? Like, what led to, hey, let's, let's do a mm-hmm. thing together and... and um, like where did when did, when was the first original song written? Do you remember that? Um, well, we performed for a long time. We did a program called School of Rock. Yeah. Where we, I was going to ask about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that just really got us comfortable performing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that on top of us just playing guitar together our whole lives. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, right on. That chemistry, and like just knowing what he's going to do on mm. the guitar and singing too, it just kind of came naturally. Even yeah. though we've been performing right. since like June. You know, it's it's right. obvious listening to your your music. Mm. There, you've gotten tons of feedback from someone. Who's Mostly like, our grandma. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, our mom, our grandma. She'll tell us when a song hey. actually sucks. <laughs> but I meant like at school of rock. Oh yeah, we did a lot. We had a lot of yeah. teaching because yeah. because uh, yeah. it was very. It's very obvious that there's definitely education there. Um, and and a um, hey, try this, try this. Yeah. And and because yeah. because their music is not, um, simple. There's a lot of complicated stuff. There are a lot of complicated chord structure work, but instead of tr- one person trying to do it all, yeah, yeah. you've split the work and managed to. Mm-hmm. It, it, I love, I love it. <laughs> um, like I said, stick around. You're in for a treat. Yeah. yeah. That being said, any actual like shows coming up other than um, a showcase? Or a, we'll be at Mount Charleston, Mount Charleston the 22nd. At the retreat? Yeah, yeah we'll the retreat. retreat. Um, um, it's about open it. Mics. Open mics. Nothing. We don't have any. No, like solid gigs. Yet. So if you want to hire us, let's know. Right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. We played bar mitzvahs and weddings. Mitzvah. Yeah, I think I said that whole yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. whether they're in the corner or they're on a center stage, you, I, I, you, your event would be enhanced. So that's oh. that's a free plug for you. There you go. <laughs> no worries. Uh, speaking of which, is, let's see. Is it too early? How, how long have we been doing this now? About oh seven minutes. Yeah, it's a little too early. <laughs> oh gosh. You know what? Screw it. We're going to hear a message from future Josh. All right. Enjoy. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Want to know a universal truth? Passwords are a pain. Want to know another one? Having only one password makes everything a lot easier. That's what I use. LastPass to secure my online presence. LastPass is like autopilot for all your passwords, giving you peace of mind wherever you go online. With over 33 million people using it and plans ranging from free to $4 a month, it's a great way to secure your privacy and save you time and frustration and hassle trying to remember which password goes where. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a Teams subscription for only $4 a month. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to LastPass for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. We're back. If that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down in the description. You'll save some money. I'll get some money. It's a win-win, baby. Um, I, and I have no idea what it is, but I hope it was, you know, interesting. Now then, I realized that was a little early in the interview process, but they don't have a lot of information <laughs> online. They, they These two managed to somehow fly very under the radar when it comes to social media, and um, that makes... You know, my job interesting. Uh, but that's Sorry, okay. Josh. That's okay. I'm not... No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Are you aware of another Liam and Dylan in Brighton, England? We weren't. In England? That's crazy. Well, Are they like a musical group? Are they a musical group? It, it was a... 
pair of guys, uh, not brothers. That's okay. But but a pair of guys, somebody was on holiday or whatever and posted a, a video. I was just like, hey, I come across this guy. They're named Liam and Dylan in Brighton. Mm -hmm. And at first I thought it was just like, no, that's not them. <laughs> a couple of white English boys. Uh, <laughs> but but they were doing covers, but they were busking. So they were all, oh, yeah. I see, I see. And so I was just like, did they get over it? No. <laughs> we're international. No, we got to we gotta get that trademark then. We got to get copyright. Yeah, right. Trademark our names. Yeah, you got to trademark the names. Um, I don't know if you can trade. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, um, any plans to record? Yeah, other definitely. than upstairs in room six. Um, I don't, we definitely want to record. That's yeah. what we want to do. I think it's just like even for like the public. I think it's just cool for us to hear our songs like a yeah. bass and like a drum. Because when we write, we think of it in like a live setting. Yeah. So we definitely want to. We just gotta like find like the, I don't know, like the the right people, I guess, to help us do it. Yeah. Um, I wish I, I, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that's a bass player or a drummer looking yeah. for a band. So if you are, let us know. Yeah, first check them out upstairs, and then you yeah, know, go decide. Watch <laughs> upstairs, upstairs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that Liam and Dylan in, in uh, Brighton made me in, uh, think to myself. Now, your last name? Can I say your last name on camera? Yeah, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Okay, yeah. is it's Fam? Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's if I'm not forgetting, it's Vietnamese. Yep. Yes. Okay. Nailed it. Um, so, are you born in America? Yeah, yeah, we're born in California. We're born, we're born in California. Okay, because I, I was gonna say you have a very American yeah yeah attitude and everything, and and, yeah. and so I was going to ask you what's the music scene like in Vietnam, but you have no idea. <laughs> so. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> I'm sure it's nice. Ever since Robin Williams left, <laughs> I'm sure it's great though. Good morning. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, so from from there, interview is going great. <laughs> from there, um. I kind of, I, I, I'm not sure how I want to ask this. Sure All right. Enough. Since you just started really yep. performing out in June, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite show memory yet? Um, that moment that was like, that was amazing. That checked off this wish list or or that went off the rails or, or whatever. <laughs> hmm. oh. Honestly, like, probably like the first time we played at the Soul Belly. Oh, yeah. Your that's first that's gig? Yeah. You yeah. never like, your first. Yeah, like we were trying to get into that for so long. Mm -hmm. And then, um. We finally found a way, and we were so happy. We we're like, "Oh, thank mm -hmm. gosh, we finally found a way into the Soul Belly songwriter thing." Yeah, and that's been pretty fun. I mean, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's a, legit, it's a yeah. legit, it's a legit stage. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been, it's on Main Street in uh, Las Vegas's downtown arts district. Yeah, award-winning barbecue. It's co-owned by uh, the Foo Fighters. Oh, really? Or oh. at least Dave Grohl. Yeah. Okay. Um, after um, after Taylor uh, passed away, uh, the fact the first well, first time I walked in there for a show uh, showcase. Because I think it happened like right after he passed away. Oh, really? Uh, our first one, there was a kick, the kick drum of the house drum set was Rest in Peace Taylor Hawkins. I don't know, that's crazy. And then I, I found know. out about the, the Foo Fighters connection. I was like, ah, oh, oh. there you go. Damn, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. My favorite gig. Okay. Is any of them with you, Josh? Oh, wow. That's, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so sweet. It, I swear yeah. it's water. It's, I swear <laughs> it's water. Oh. Okay, now. What I've seen happen a lot of times mm -hmm. um, with people your age, I say like that, but people, you know, with, oh, good. with people like you, you're, you're fresh out of high school, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you're fresh into college. Yeah, I'm a sophomore. Like yeah. a sophomore, yeah. Do your school friends know about the music? Do they care? Are they, uh, are they like... Uh, they've actually been I, pretty supportive. Yeah, they're pretty supportive, yeah. Because yeah. it seems like, you know, house shows or something. Yeah, well, quinceañeras or something. High school. <laughs> uh, high school. I, so we went to a small high school, so they school. definitely heard us, heard, heard us sing like our whole lives, basically. So yeah, we played at prom too. We played, we played at prom one time. So that was cool. See, that's the stuff you put online. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah we did. We, we filmed it too. We filmed it yeah. too. What high school? Yeah. Uh, American Heritage. What's that? It's very. Small. It's like behind the Galaxy Theater, like on. Olympia. Oh, it's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. It's a boarding school in Vietnam. No, I'm not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, you were born in Vegas. We were born in California. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You said that. Where, where, where in Cali? Bakersfield. Bakersfield. So. Victorville. Oh! Hi, oh, Desert, baby! <laughs> Key City! Um, yeah, I, that's that's funny. You're not the first uh, act I've had in here that's born in, like, from Bakersfield. Moved yeah, yeah. here, I'm like, so you went from desert to desert. Yeah, 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 pretty much. I at least moved to Northern California before I moved oh, back here. Oh, there you go. You did, you did a little, like, back and forth. Yeah, there. yeah. So there are times where I'm like, hmm, why did, why did I come back? <laughs> but, all right. 
So a couple more questions, then we're going to get the upstairs to uh, watch them perform. And if you are, you know, are at all interested in what else they're doing, it, hopefully it's worth it. Go down to the description and check out their social yep. media handles I put down there. <laughs> hopefully they'll be posting more. We post on TikTok. Yeah, we post on TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Yeah, yeah we, we do. TikTok, yeah. I didn't check TikTok. No, it's okay, Joe. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, all right. We, so we talked about early musical influence, and we talked about um, favorite show memory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what's what is something that you wish you you could change about what you've seen so far in the local music scene? I'll start uh, a fight. <laughs> that's a good question. Probably just it's more more opportunities, maybe. There might be more more like chances for artists out there because I feel like we have a good scene. I feel like there's not a lot of places. I feel like it's more <clears> like the same places over and over again. So I think if there's more. I think I'll be not underage really. or just in general. I think the underage. Underage. Well, we're biased because underage is definitely yeah, yeah, good that's for all us. I'm looking for. <laughs> uh, yeah. Under only, only underage places actually. Uh, underage shows go off. I yeah, they tell do. You. And, like usually the band, the bill is packed, like mm -hmm. five, six, seven bands. And mm. what about you? Um. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd agree with Liam. Copycat. No. <laughs> His older brother. <laughs> no, I mean. I think that we've had many good opportunities, mm. you know, but I think he's right. And there's been a lot of the same places. So I think more opportunities and more places doing like open mics and stuff like that definitely widen the scene a little bit. And that'd be we like cool. the same. We, we like the places we go to. We do like them. Yeah, yeah. We, it's nice. we like them. Yeah. Cool. I would definitely, if I were you, um, be older. <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> hey, you're, you're doing it. Good job. <laughs> um, I, would, I would definitely, if I were you, uh, seek out a couple of, um, you know, basically like, you still going to school rock at all? No, no, we quit a while ago. Okay. Yeah. I would lean into finding like, um, not, not so much a mentor, but somebody who's been in the scene a little bit longer yeah. that is performing regularly mm -hmm. that you can say, hey, do you mind if we open for you? Yeah. And, and if, if maybe we can be a thing together yeah, yeah, yeah. kind mm -hmm. of thing that your sound compliments theirs and mm -hmm. vice versa. Um, because that can open some doors for you. Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately in life it is a little bit of who you know, mm -hmm. but yeah. also you can hopefully learn lessons without having to ex like make yeah. those mistakes. Yeah, it can be like they they that person can be like, oh hey you know when you're doing this uh, at this place, mm. mention this or you know <laughs> something like that. They'll talk about the Raiders, you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got my own opinions out there. Anyway, oh. <laughs> so all right, last question. You made it. I know this is a little little shorter interview than, than normal. But like I said, not too many rabbit holes to go down with these two. <laughs> but we'll post more. We'll yeah, post more. yeah, post more. Yeah. Um, so you are young. Yeah. There's no getting around it. And you've only been doing this a short amount, short time as you know, and Dylan. Yeah. So normally I ask, what's one thing you wish you could go back and tell the younger you that hey, you're going to need to know this, but you're still figuring it out. So yeah. instead, what I would say is, let's talk to future you. Okay. Huh. Okay. So future Liam, future Dylan. What is... So, what, Sorry. <laughs> where do you want to be in five years uh, musically? Oh, musically. Yeah. Uh, what, where do you want to be in five years? Let's, let's make a wish list. Let's put it out in the universe. Five years, I'll be 25. You'll be, what, 23? That's how math works. Yeah, yeah. that is math works. <laughs> um... I don't know. Probably just. Hopefully, we're still doing it. That would, yeah. that would be good. Hopefully, like made a career out of it. We're just doing what, what we love. Hopefully, I think. Yeah, I think I think that's the end goal. Evolving our evolving. Sound yeah, keep getting better. Uh, maybe have a few recordings out. Get a band. Get a band eventually. Invite our parents' house. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it's like they're related or something. <laughs> Right on. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for coming on the channel. We're going to head upstairs for a couple of tunes from Liam and Dylan in room six, and then we'll catch you in the outro. So temporarily yep. say goodbye, guys. See ya. Watch goodbye. us upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Liam. I'm Dylan. And uh, this is we're Liam and Dylan, and this is our song photograph. Hope you guys like it. thousand miles away and here I am 
riding on a jet airplane and if it goes down in flames I'll think of you the whole way down And there you smile And as you pose I'm smiling right back at you now As the whole world just turns around it And I'm gonna be there soon I'm gonna make some money Now, you are my phone left to do A Polaroid, a photo booth made for two I look back on the photographs we made And I'll think of you and all you do and I'll be okay But for now Don't worry, I'll be there soon I got my camera always focused on you The moments with you A souvenir when I get lonely And you're not here but I can feel your smile on me I'll make the moment last forever Hey, it's us again, <laughs> Liam and We're Dylan, <laughs> and uh, this is our song, Venice. Hope you like it. <laughs> We're going to take a trip to Venice, just you and me, baby, just oh God intended. But now the city is sinking But I've just been thinking about your eyes All time left, everyone's accepting Resigned to their own fate We're stuck until the ending Oh, to live and die in Italy What a scene the poets put in mind Golfed in the flood, boy, you're next to my 
heart I won't try to find Cause oh, if I'm going down I'm going down with you And don't be scared I'll meet you there At our heavenly rendezvous I promise you with my final breath Like the salt in the sea I'll be yours till the end You know what's left I'm landing on the treasure I am glad I didn't die before I met you Oh, but now you're here I'm not scared to say goodbye I'll go out with a smile Salt in the sea, I'll be yours till the end and So come on, let's go, we've got no time to waste I can't breathe, lungs are down, I can't see, there's no sound How could I let you go? And babe, we gotta go Cause oh, if I'm going down, I'm going down with you And don't be scared, I'll meet you there at our heavenly rendezvous And I love you with my final breath Like the salt in the sea, I'll be yours till the end thank Liam and Dylan for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about them, hit up their social media down in the description and uh, yeah, tell them Room 6 sent you. And I, if you get the chance to see them live, you owe it to yourself. Other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click here. If you want to subscribe, click over there. You know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, click right over there. <laughs> Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye guys. Bye guys. Bye. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Wow. There's always one. <laughs>